Hi Fire Family, the Ivy Phoenix here again. Um, <laughs> I don't even think I've been home for five minutes before um, I felt prompted to do a twin flame reading. I felt the energy coming on for sure, but more so because of the heavy, heavy dreams um, that I have been having. So um, here I am. Here I am. And actually, I have been having a few, well, more than a fair few, actually. I've been having a lot more inquiries for twin flame readings. Look at that. Oh. Fire and flames are such a beautiful thing. I love it. So, similar spread. I've already um, cleared the decks, have them ready, but all the shuffling is going to be done on camera. So, let's get into it. Mystical energy. What's surrounding the Twin Flame Collective for this message today? Again, this can be vice versa. Um, I definitely feel like the collective I'm speaking to, both of you are awake now, both sides, both souls, both counterparts. So there definitely will no longer be any type of division um, as of right now in my readings. I'm speaking to those of you who are aware of the connection. Yeah, there's some more, there's some more energy besides, but sorry, here we go. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Pentacles. So refocus, refocus, refocus. Come on. Well, you guys can kind of see it. Ten of Pentacles. First card that came out. Oh, man. Eight of Wands. I don't know why it's not working today. Meh. Next card that came out, Four of Wands. We have the Devil. <laughs> we have the Hanged Man. We have the Two of Pentacles. It's trying. Camera's trying. We have the Eight of Pentacles. What I'm getting for the energy that's going on right now is I definitely feel like spirit, the universe. Um, divine timing is really at work, you all. It really is. Where there's definitely going to be some type of communication with this Eight of Wands around a commitment. Perhaps the, I'm getting the lack of commitment in the past with the Four of Wands, but now trying to make it work. I'm also feeling like if it's not necessarily communication, there are certain action steps that are being taken to secure maybe finances, um, a home, some type of life foundation is really being set um, between the counterparts to really bring this Four of Wands into fruition. All right. Then with this devil card, I feel like this is the shadow work that's still being done. Definitely still needs to be done because until it's done, you two are not coming back into union. But it's the revelation. The revelation is the most crucial part. And the hanged man has been, if not in every single one of my readings, at least about 99 <laughs> percent. I'm being funny, but um, the hanged man has definitely been 
finding its way into the readings I've done on a personal note and also for the March ones that I just put up. So there is definitely some type of enlightenment. This could also be just about the connection, just it's strengthening itself, knowing that you two have some type of karmic tie. And I'm calling it karmic tie because of the fact that both counterparts are still working through your stuff, the gunk, the, you know, trying to get it all out, clearing the pathway so that as union is coming closer and closer and closer, you know, there's less of that to mess with. So that when you two are really coming together, it is really about the healing aspect of it. Because I feel like the next wave of twin flames coming together, at least the ones that I'm picking up on right now, are those of you who are meant to have every single karmic lesson, you know, cleared, healed, resolved, so that when you two are coming together, it really is to heal the world through whatever your soul mission is, whatever that work is. So for me, this two of pentacles is no longer about juggling. Again, I feel like that aha moment has already come with the hanged man. But this two of pentacles is really going to stand for twin flame. This image to me in this deck is really calling out the infinite possibilities. Like I see the number eight so clearly with these two discs in the movement that they're making. And I'm feeling like this character, you know, this individual is like the fool. Maybe even more so like the magician where it's, you know, you've you've been juggling for so long, but now the juggling is taking on this new this new formation. You have you have it down. You know, you've been again, you've been juggling for so long. But now it's finally starting to smooth itself out. It's starting to make sense. You know, like I'm getting this overwhelming sense of peace where it's just like, OK, I know where I'm going now. Right. I know where I'm going now. I know what I need to do. I know what I need to focus on. And then boom. Eight of Pentacles. I know what I need to focus on. And the focus is not on the twin flame relationship. The focus is on healing self. Creating this stability. And maybe as a result, you know, communication will come from it. All right. So let's get into the headspace. Oh. Two cards that already came out. Let's get into the headspace of the counterparts, the Twin Flame Collective. Ooh. Phone is going off. Mm. There's power here. There's power in, yeah, in the logic. There is power here. There's power here. Page of Swords, the confidence level of this maiden. And then even under that, we have the Seven of Wands. Mentally, mentally knowing that you're, you're fighting for this. Mentally knowing, okay. Ooh. Mentally knowing that you're fighting for this, that you're fighting for the opportunity to make it right, that you're fighting for the opportunity to get back to your counterpart, that you're fighting for the opportunity to to just be finally, finally. So let me show you the cards. We have the nine of pentacles. True abundance, satisfaction, happiness with where you're at. Beautiful energy. 
beautiful energy to have that because again the focus the twin flame collective that i'm speaking to the focus is not on the coming together piece it's like now you know it's going to happen it just you just know it you just know it so the fight the fight really is just to to be and i mean what better card to signify that in the mental space besides the nine of pentacles we have the strength card been seeing this a lot lately in readings. All right. I said there's power here. There's power here. There's even power in understanding those destructive behaviors with the seven of swords. Again, mental energy. Maybe I'm getting that for many individuals and by no means am I trying to make any excuses on anybody's behalf for behaving in a less than ideal manner. And that's me putting it nicely, sweetly, you know, trying to glaze over the severity of some of the issues or some of the situations that many of you twins have had to deal with when it comes to your counterpart. But when it has this seven of swords energy behind it, I feel like there was a level of love that neither one of you knew about. I said this in one of my videos. I don't remember which sign it was for, but love is a choice. I firmly believe that. And I'm okay if any of you disagree with that. But for me, love is a choice because there are definitely going to be times when maybe I've just been with you for so long that it's, we got to work on it, you know, like I, but I'm making the choice to sit up there and be like, you know, I'm still riding with you. I'm still by your side. I'm still assisting. I'm still supporting. I'm still doing all of that, but it's a choice. Love doesn't hurt. Love doesn't do any of that lower vibrational stuff. Love is really all about elevating. It's all about elevating. And so if you have this type of mentality because of things you've dealt with in your life, experiences, um, people, whatever it is, that's what you know. So when you find somebody who is, one, able to love you no matter what, unconditionally, um, who is accepting of your flaws, you know, all of that cliche stuff. When you find somebody that's able to do that, you may mess up. You just might. And yet this person still sticks with you. Some may call that stupidity. You know, um, some may call that insecurity. Oh, no. Oh, my stone fell out. Oh, I'm going to have to figure out another way to keep this secured. Because I would hate to lose it. Um, my best friend, she sent me three crystals and I love them all. And I do have them, you know, not in jewelry. I have a crystal on me at every possible second, but, um, I absolutely love these because it's the thought she told me I thought about you and I, and she sent them to me. Love them. Um, but yeah, this is not even signifying, you know, cheating, um, stealing, dishonesty, any of that. It definitely, those types of things could have happened in the situations between you and your counterpart. But I feel it's because somebody was coming from a place, acting from a place of what they knew. Can't fault them for that. Because again, when you're loving somebody unconditionally, you are truly choosing to love all of them, no matter what, it's not to get them to change. Nobody can get anybody to change. Only Somebody can only change because they want to. But your job is to love them through that. If you want to, it's all about choice. It's all about choice. So then what else do we get in the mental space? Ten of cups. Ten of cups, you all. The collective I'm speaking to, you you all really want to overcome what you used to know. 
which I think is beautiful energy coming from the full moon in Virgo. We're heading into the new moon in Pisces. And then we're having a full moon, blue moon in Libra at the end of the month. The sign that's all about love, security, right? Queen of Pentacles. I mean, outside of the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, I don't see... I mean, this is this is beautiful, stationary, um, stabilizing energy, caring, stepping into this power. Then y'all, nine of cups, nine of cups. This is awesome. Awesome for the mental space, for the counterparts. Like I'm just, I, I, I feel like being careful <laughs> as I'm putting these cards down to still be able to see them. Like I feel like I have to be careful. And perhaps, I mean, because again, at the bottom of the deck on the other end, we had gotten the Ten of Pentacles, right? Like there's true fulfillment that is about to be here. Mm. Mm. Heart space, you guys. What's going on with the heart space of the counterparts? And again, this is mirroring. So even if it doesn't seem like it, I feel like the 3D right now is the fantasy world. You know, in layman terms, human knowledge, being in the minds, being in the spirit, that's fantasy. But no, I think 3D is the fantasy world now, you guys. Heart space. What's going on in the heart space? Okay. That one didn't want to go back in and I see why. Oh, okay. Come on with the messages, spirit. Let me do one more. Loving it. All right, I think that's enough. Attraction. Now, even though this says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment f fully, that's not what I'm getting. I'm getting that the connection is strengthening itself so much, so much. It's like my heart chakra is just beaming with warmth right now. The connection, the work, that this group of twins has done. I feel it. Please know that you all are so close on reaping the rewards. Just keep focusing and doing what you're doing. Where, where was that? Keep focusing and doing what you're doing. Um. Hold on, you guys. All right, sorry. Had something important come in that I had to at least respond to. So the first card that had jumped out that made me smile, so mate. Retreat. Playfulness. Make the effort. Wedding. Forgiving and learning. So what I'm seeing here, 
I mean, this is this is obvious, right? Do I even need to? I don't think so. It, you, you all know. You all know. This retreat card. This disconnecting from the world. This taking a step back is really... I'm feeling like it is definitely capitalizing on the Pisces energy. Internal review, internal reviewing, um, hermit mode. And not necessarily where you're closing yourself off from the world. You're just disconnecting. You're, co you're coming to be more aligned with self. I mean, in a lot of readings that I have been doing, a lot of chakra cards have been coming out. <laughs> if I want to say I've gotten maybe three to four chakra cards, um, if I've used a particular deck, if I use my psych psychic tarot deck, which is letting me know, one, it's spirit is telling us where we need to be focusing our energies, what, where we need to be really tapping in to ensure that we are keeping those areas clear, um, cleansed, whole. But more importantly, this retreating card is letting me know that there is going to be a moment Maybe with the, the communication piece, there's going to be a moment where you and your counterpart are going to have to discuss what's happened. And that's going to mean all the stuff that we've healed, all of the darkness, you know, that chapter that we don't want to read, all of that, we're going to eventually have to go through it together. Now, the great thing about when we get to that point is it's not going to be hurtful anymore. It's not going to be surprising. It's not going to be dirty. It's not going to be a fear. Are you burning? Of course not. It's not going to be a fear to delve into those depths anymore. It's going to be one of those arm and arm, yes, one of those arm and arm things where it's just like, okay, babe, we got it. Let's go. And we're in there head first. That's what it's going to be like. This playfulness card it's going to be understanding that, yeah, this relationship is still going to be work, you know, for us to stay connected and all of that jazz. But I feel like this is the healed child in both of you, in both counterparts. And then here we have children as well, making the effort I think that one's self-explanatory. This wedding card, I feel like, is the union. Now, not necessarily marriage, but at least being able to be in the same space together and know, like, you're my person. Yeah, you're my person, too. It's just we're, we're here. We're here. We're aligned here, and now we're aligned soul to soul. Oh. And all because in our heart of hearts, we have truly learned and we've forgiven each other. All right. So what's going on in the 3D realm? What's going on with the twins? This reading makes me happy, you guys. Um, <laughs> again, when I started to do the twin flame readings, I was very afraid. 
and God had put me in a place with two in particular individuals who held that mirror up to me and said, honey child, the only reason you're not doing this is because you're afraid of what your twin is going to think. They were right. <laughs> and I know I tried to rationalize it away, but I couldn't. They were right. It took me three tries, three publicized videos before I felt comfortable in my skin to do it. And um, the first few videos, I haven't done too many yet. The first few videos that I have done were more about me still, you know, going through those muddy waters within my own twin flame relationship. So as I was presenting the message to you all, it was healing me. And um, I'm sure, you know, there may be some readings that um, show less than, ideal, less than ideal situations. At least one more card. Um, because I know, okay. I know that there are sometimes complaints on, you know, maybe just too much positivity, but this feels good. Again, the collective that I'm speaking to is at peace because you know what's coming. You know what's coming. So what's going on in the real world? <laughs> what's going on down here on planet Earth? Ooh, my hands are too small to hold. Seven of air, seven of swords makes its way back again. We're counterparts. Again, I feel like are letting go of those old behaviors that they have learned over years and years and decades. Because it's just, now that you know, now that you are fully aware of the connection, this type of stuff, for one, you already know what it is because it's produced relationships, connections, situations that have left you in terrible positions, that have just still not felt like they were enough. And I think for a lot of you that may be in separation, you can still be communicating with your partner or your counterpart, but you're in separation. Um, you know, like maybe somebody is trying to see if the grass is greener and they're learning it's not. Like, you know, you know, you already know. Under that was the nine of swords. I just, I felt like looking more into the bottom of the deck energy where I feel like there is some suffering. Suffering. Suffering letting this type of stuff go because now you're realizing how this type of behavior has gotten you to where you've gotten. You want to bloom and create something new with your divine other. And soon enough, something will be coming in to produce the change that's needed. I was gonna stop there. Nine of fires underneath that. And I feel like this on guardness is going to be produced from this. In addition to that, what do we see again? The hanged man. On guardness is going to be produced from the tower moment, but it's meant to happen. It's meant to produce a result for you. What do we have under that? 
the devil again, temptation, still dealing with that stuff, still dealing with it, and death to it all. Death to what is not working anymore. Anymore. This Empress card, I just got the thought that it definitely could be within March for some of you where some of these things are taking place. Could be three months from now. So let's get into actually <laughs> the actual energies here. The first card that came out with the Hierophant. Again, um, the Hierophant is seen as a priest a person of wisdom, um, someone who, you know, oversees weddings, traditional um, things. But I, again, I feel we've seen it. We've seen it a few times here. Commitment, commitment. So even though we're letting go of certain things, why are we doing that? Why are the Twin Flame collectives that I'm speaking to taking these types of actions is because of this, all right? You can't have the things that aren't necessary in the way. They have to be cleared out. The next card that came out was the Two of Pentacles. You got that again. I, I'm Again, I'm not seeing it as a juggling card. Very similar positioning with the hands here where I'm seeing that you are trying to divine timing, God, spirit guides, angels are trying to get rid of all of that unnecessary stuff to bring you here for your counterpart. All right. Next card that comes out after that is a page of water, a message of love. Um, Page of Cups, Knight of Cups. Usually always have images of fishes, sometimes even the King of Cups. Where some of me is feeling like this is a conversation around, you know, having kids together. Where again, this could be happening in the month of March because of the fact that we do start off March in Pisces season. I'm thinking of fish, Pisces. This card is also looking as if once the childhood woes have been healed, that stuff has been dealt with then the message of love will be coming in. So just a few different things were being channeled there. <laughs> we get the Eight of Wands again. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Where for me, this is not that typical walking away card. This is signifying exactly what's in the picture. Somebody is waiting for that ship to come to shore. This person isn't walking away from the water. This person is walking towards it. And that ship is not heading in the other direction either. That ship is coming towards the person. Oh, you guys. Oh. What is that age old saying? When you let something go, it comes back, right? So what's not being said? For those of you who may not be in communication with your counterpart, 
what's not being said one card has already made itself known um for some reason well not some reason i i know why i'm getting the feeling that for some <clears throat> Writing out a letter, writing out a letter, and in particular, a love letter, letting this person know how you truly, truly feel. Blessed, 22. TikTok. I don't think those need any explanation. Um, writing out a love letter, I think is going to be, especially with this Pisces new moon coming up. New moons, new beginnings, setting some intentions, specific intentions, specific intentions in regards to this wind flame. Not what you want, not what you hope is going to happen. What is so pressing on your soul that there's just no denying it. Write it out. Just some advice. Do it, don't do it. It's cool with me. Um, message in the bottle is the first card that came out. Again, it definitely seems prominent that there is going to be some communication um, goodness, Ooh, something, don't get in my eye, don't get in my eye. Sorry, y'all. Um, definitely going to be some type of communication for sure. Could be a phone call because of the phone that's in the bottle here. For some reason, the 15 six is reminding me of the lover's card. Um, Breathe. Keep your peace is what I'm hearing. Keep your peace. You know, again, alignment, yoga, meditation, whatever you need to do to keep your peace. Poised. This is reminding me of the Two of Pentacles cards that we have seen. To me, this is just further confirmation of this relationship is strengthening itself beyond what is even imaginable. And then the tribe. Eight. I really do feel like the divine is orchestrating some things. You may be, for some of you, you may be having <laughs> more individuals that support, maybe not necessarily the connection, but just you that support you coming in and those that don't making their way out. I really feel like divine is sitting there moving and shaking your world deeper than you may even think, expect, anticipate um, because it's making a way. A way is being made. A way is being made, you guys. Um, so just a little extra tidbit. Well, 
gonna do two extra tidbits. Let's first get. I please. I think um, I'm two. Two should suffice. Two numerology cards. Please. Thank you. Thank you for these messages. For the counterparts. Absolutely love it. Two numerology cards, please. Thank you. Oh, there's one. Okay. Intuition 22. <laughs> Synchronicities 15. Six. Yeah. Can't make this stuff up. You can't make it up. Sacral chakra. Orange on orange. Crown and heart chakra. Pay attention to the signs and definitely this is a moment when intuition is in its proper place. You know, it's definitely in its pop, pop, popper. <laughs> a proper place. All right, just let me know. What do you want this group to know? What do you want this group to know? How can we close out this message? Twin flames, twin flames. I feel like I need to shuffle a few times here. Energy moving. What do you need them to know? Thank you so much for your guidance. What do you need them to know? Right, what do you need them to know? Uh, what do you need them to know? What do you need them to know? What do you need them to know? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. ooh, there's the glare. Don't stop. Take action. Unlikely. Did I not? <laughs> Did I not? Did I not say this? Meditation brings answers. Underneath that, in the near future. So these other three cards, don't stop. I've said it, keep doing what you're doing. Taking action. I definitely feel like there's going to be some type of communication here. We've seen it, we've seen it. Make the effort. We've seen, um, you know, definitely letting go of the things that no longer serve us. We've, we've just seen it. And I really feel like this unlikely card is not anything negative. It's just the fact that, well, is there, I feel like some of you may be asking, is there any chance, any possibility that this is not going to come to, to fruition? Hell no. Excuse my French. I really do try not to curse in my readings. But for those of you who are still questioning, for this reading, I've been speaking to those of you who know what's coming. But I feel like some of you are still like, for real though? Like, no, don't, don't joke with me. Like, like seriously. Is it? Is it? I hope that's confirmation for you. 44 minutes and 44 seconds. <laughs> I just saw it. 
Love you guys so much. Um, all the information on how to get in touch with me is down below in the description box. Um, this was a twin flame reading and you guys keep it pushing. Keep your peace. The relationship is here. Your counterpart knows about it. Those of you that I'm speaking to, this is a general reading again. Your counterpart knows about it. For any of you who have been called to watch this video, there's a message in it for you. I, I firmly believe that. Now, sometimes I feel like the message for some of the comments that I get, and you all know, I don't put anything negative. It doesn't make the final cut. Um, let's just call it that. But I don't let anything negative stay on my channel. And I feel like if you're called to watch the video, whether it's five seconds, five minutes, you want to watch my videos in a span of five hours, whatever it may be, there's a message there for you. Some of you, it is to hold up a mirror to yourself. Because again, if I'm not the reader for you, you're going to know it and there won't be any reason for you to come back. But for those of you who have been rocking and rolling with me, I'm so grateful. I say it all. Well, I, I don't think I say it enough because I don't think I say it in every single one of my videos. But I am so appreciative of all the support, all of the reading requests. Uh, I'm overwhelmed. The stories that you share with me, um, I find healing and you all too, to know that this isn't done in vain. I love what I do. I so do. I so do. And I love each and every one of you. So thank you for being a part of the FIRE family here on YouTube. Those of you who are following me on Facebook, those of you who are also involved in the FIRE family on Instagram, those of you that I've worked with over Instant Go, like you name it, grateful 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 so um i will see you all soon i definitely am going to be doing um an energy read for this new moon so make sure that you are connected on facebook for that and also instagram because i will have it on my instagram live <clears throat> excuse me so that will be up for 24 hours as well and um, I'm pretty sure that I will be putting up a quick read on Instagram. I've been overdue for one, actually. Um, I tried doing it last night, but um, it just wasn't fully there yet. I think this needed to get out first. So I'll be seeing you all soon in some more videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. But Twin Flames, keep it pushing. Mwah. Love and light. And I will talk to you all next time. Be blessed.